Welcome to another Granberry Volunteer Fire Department video. Today we're going to be going over the utility menu and the audio settings on the Harris XL200 radios. Alright, today we're going to be going over the audio settings on the Harris radio. We're going to go over how to get the noises to go off on the radio when you're scrolling through the radio or when you're pushing to talk on the radio. So you got your radio on. What you're going to do is you're going to push the select button here in the middle. And then you're going to scroll all the way over to the right on the gear icon until you see display settings, audio settings, Bluetooth, and your clock settings. You want to go to your audio settings. Select that. So the first thing we're going to go to is the noise cancellation. We're going to go ahead and enable that. That's going to help eliminate any ambient noise such as a pump or maybe some wind. Next, we're going to scroll down to the push to talk button. We're going to enable that. So anytime we key up here on the radio, it'll chirp at you. We're going to scroll down to tones. We're going to enable that. That will give you a chirp when you hit the repeater in the radio system. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the keypad tones. You're going to enable that. That will get you to have the radio chirp at you when you're scrolling through the radio. Next, you're going to go to voice enunciation, and you're going to enable that. And then you're going to go to your speaker. You're going to make sure that's unmuted. So any audio that comes in through the radio, it won't be muted, hence the unmuted. So now that we have the audio settings enabled and we have noises on the radio, there's a couple new features that are on with these radios that we're going to have to pay attention to. So the first one we'll do uh, a no signal noise. Uh, so we've taken the antenna off to show that. Uh, when you key up and you have no signal, this is what it's going to sound like. That means you have no signal and you're not hitting the tower on the radio system. Another way you can tell if you have signal or not is you can just simply look at the screen, look at the top right, and you'll have your signal bars. There's also another feature on this radio system that everyone's going to have to get used to. When you key up, you hear the noise when you push the talk button. It means you're keyed up. When someone's keyed up and another person tries to key up, this is the noise it's going to make. We're going to go over another feature here on the radio. On this new system, only one person is going to be able to talk rather than a whole bunch of people talking at once and you not understanding what they're saying. So with one radio, if someone keys up, this is what you're going to hear. And only this person is going to be able to talk. So if someone else starts talking on the radio, for instance, this is what you're going to hear. It gives you more so of an error noise. So the person talking on this radio, they're going to know that their next step in the queue to talk is if you hear this noise. Now you're keyed up. So that's how you know when this person is good to go to talk. Thank you. Have a good day.